got uh, an interesting uh, downhill project in today. This is a 2016 Yamaha R1 and it's actually been fitted with a Yamaha MT10 engine. Now, I don't know the rights and wrongs of that, but that's how it's come to us and it's still running the Yamaha R1 ECU. So what we're going to try and do is to make the R1 ECU run the MT10 engine properly. We've done a couple of runs on the bike already with the stock R1 file on the ECU and the fueling is way too rich. Obviously the ECU is programmed to run an R1 engine and that runs the volumetric efficiency of that is totally different. The cams are different. I think even some of the timing is different and certainly the acceleration enrichment and the fueling maps are totally different. So it's running very badly at the moment. We're going to try and get it run, running a little bit better. We've got a little bit of experience with the R1s obviously and the MT10s. Uh, so we're going to try and amalgamate the file to run properly. We've had to do a lot of work on the um, ECU to make the, the engine run properly, but the results are quite surprising that we've got. The engine at peak output is making 21 brake horsepower less than an R1 would. However, anything up to 10,000 RPM, this bike with the MT10 engine is ahead of a stock bike and by quite a long way. Now at 7,000 RPM, this bike is 21 brake horsepower and 16 foot pounds ahead of the of the r1 engine at 4500 rpm we're 11 brake horsepower ahead and 13 foot pounds we're going to give it back to the customer he's a good friend of ours we're going to let him test ride it and see what it like rides like on the road it'd be interesting to find out on the road whether this would be a better bike to ride whether it'd be easier and more tractable i know this bike is available in the usa i'm not uh, a big um, expert on the yamaha range but I'm led to believe by Tony at TTR, he knows his Yamaha's back to front, and he's informed me that this setup, the R1, with the MT10 engine is available in the USA as an R1S. But in the real world, would this bike, with less power at peak output, 21 brake horsepower down at peak output, but more power everywhere else, up to 10,000 brake horsepower, would it be a better bike to ride on the British roads? I don't know, I just map bikes, I, I tune bikes. I'm not the best rider in the world, I'm very far from it. Uh, but it'd be good to have your thoughts in the comment section below. Let us know what you think. We'll let you know what the rider thinks of the bike. We'll get back to you on that. But if you could leave us a like and a subscribe, it really helps us out. And you'll get notifications of when the update's available.